gave up trying to predict that stuff a long time ago. The offensive line is split from Lubbock to Amarillo. First down and 10, and here comes that new look running game. She'll also bring in a little bit more of a tough running style to this backfield for Texas Tech. High snap. Incomplete as Graham Harrell. Offensive line keeps it clean. Can't find an open receiver. Now chucks it. First down. And there's the main. There for Texas Tech to see number five hobbling off. Baron Batch circles out as a running back as an extra receiver. Wide open down the middle to the 40. Lower part of that leg. First down and 10. And they come back with the running play with Woods. Offensive line, they average 139 yards this year on the ground, which is the best he's ever had. Quick strike again. Put it. And Kirk, here's their second, third down on this opening drive. From the horn, 35 yard line, need four. Down he goes, sack for the first. Woods is the running back along to the right. Now here comes Woods, his third carry from scrimmage. And uh, Lisa, what did you feel throughout the game? The Longhorns have been very successful against some very talented receivers the last couple of weeks. And certainly they'll have their eye on number five. Second down and five. Harrell steps off to the right and throws complete for the first down. He hits Lewis. The pressure, a very easy throw for him for a big game. Will Muschamp's defense under fire. There's that inside shuttle pass. The Horns view that basically as a run, and that is batch number 20. Goal or to be able to come up with a big turnover. Trying to get through that wide gaps in pursuit of Harrell on the move right and a diving reception at the 30 yard line. Now Crabtree come out of the backfield. He will run a circle to the left. Harrell can't find him open right away so he moves to the right. Ennis Texas which is not too far from Dallas Texas and Mike Leach swears by his decision making. That time he almost the big third down here. Must champ trying to overload the front. Tries to get to Harold. Does not. Crabtree again rips away to the 12 yard line. Crabtree with three receptions here tonight. Back to the running game with number two, Woods. Right. That's the that's the key tonight. Can these offenses score when they get into the red zone and not have to settle for field goals? Steps away from the pressure. Still waiting. Tow incomplete, and he had a touchdown. They're well off the line. They're going to try to blitz Harrell. Can they get there? They cannot. Off the back foot, incomplete, and he was going. For Trump contacted him, and they've been telephone buddies ever since. They talked two days ago. Fumbled in the end zone. Is that a lateral incomplete? Being over the ball now on this second down and 10. Back to the running play, and uh, that's gonna go deep. Caught at midfield. And for 133 yards against the Horns defense. Raiders up five, going again. On the move, he'll throw this one away. And it is a game changer oh, performance. Wow. That, that interception was, return. Maybe play of the year. There's Crabtree on that middle screen. Picks up. That. And now Harrell against this defense. Who's going to back it up and give him the passing look? Great read by Graham. Slides to the 30. Inside of two minutes here in the opening quarter. Play fake. Fires complete again. Eight more to a number of different targets. Second and one. Here comes Batch. First down plus to about the fifth. First down and ten. Time running out of the opening quarter. All day. Will they get the first down? There's a penalty flag. Comes flying for a few touchdowns in this offense. 
Seconds ticking away, and it'll be Batch touchdown. Baron Batch with the evening's first touchdown. The knot hole gang in baseball trying to get a peek here. The Red Raiders and Graham Harrell pulls out and drops it off underneath the Woods. Woods, the running back's got nine more. And here comes Woods for the first down, breaking to daylight. A difference. That inside handoff breaking his batch who scored the game's first touchdown muscling his way to that initial line of scrimmage and you've got room to run Reed Vasquez Hamby Carter and Wynn. that's your offensive line Harrell wide open in the middle is Swindle play fake by Harrell he's going to drop off another screen pass to batch and that one was read perfectly and look what they're leading here that time of possession huh? Harold they give him time can't find anybody open you know I'm impressed they're four of six now on third down need 14 drops back to midfield fires reaching for the first down and got it loaded Kirk and this, I mean, what are you going to do here? You rush four, you drop seven, you can't get pressure on him. It's a wall, it's an offensive line. He's just dancing around, waiting until somebody breaks open. And again, you go back to the relationship. Low snap, picks it up. Got a man wide open, touchdown! Eric Morris, his fifth touchdown of the season. 10. Flanker screen with Crabtree. Another first and ten. Put it down. There's a fumble. Horns are signaling that they've got it. Mac Brown's right in the middle. Williams came away pile. with it. Aaron Williams. Wow. Big play. They certainly have done. Completing it outside. Short of a first down. And uh, 140 yards. That's one of them. One of them very recently. There's Crabtree. Steps out with the first down and up now open. Uh, what would he be like in the Pac 10? Grew up in the Cody, went to school at BYU, and here's his running attack with Woods down to the 32. Running again with Woods for another first down and the first half. Batch who scored the touchdown breaks the tackle by Kendall. Gets back for a yard. And they came from behind and uh, overpowered the Red Raiders in the fourth quarter. Carroll complete the crab tree again. On third down, here comes pressure. And they almost got one. And, uh, and Colt McCoy has been taking a licking. Woods slips out for a couple of yards. The Raiders. Woods trying to sweep left. And this will put it third and one time tonight. Third down and three. Keeping on the ground short. And it's going to be three and done on this. Horns will be playing with some fresh emotion now. First down, he puts it in Morris's hands. Batch is the running back. Harrell under center will give it to him. And he bangs straight ahead for the first down. McElroy making. Harrell down the middle, and he's got Crabtree. Crabtree finds another hole. So Henry Melton, who was a running back, for several years, one of the defensive ends. They throw a little bit high to Macklin's speed. Mm -hmm. Macklin has better top end speed than Crabtree has. Second down and 10. Quick strike on the outside. 
That's Leong again. Like second half teams in college football this year. Here's your third down. Most champs got heat. Miller's on him. And that's short of a first down income. Get him out of here. Well, this Texas defense has stepped up twice to force Graham Harrell to the sidelines. We'll see what happens here the third time. Kendall's coming. And a perfect strike with a penalty flag thrown on the play as Lewis, the receiver. Here's Woods. Made the most out of that. Center field. Just in time for a jailbreak screen. He's all the way to the bottom. There it is. You called it, Kirk. They put him over there, set it up perfectly. He's standing over there on the right side of the defense. Number two. Snaps off. Incomplete. Three possessions for Texas Tech, three punts. Play fake, going down the middle, complete. Throws us leading the number one team, the Texas Longhorns, by 10, 29 to 19. Middle to the 32. Four more yards of offense in there. The handoff to Batch muscles his way across the 30 yard line. Lisa Salter's inside handoff again to Batch. Harold throws for it to the 10 yard line. Now they come back with the run play with Woods spinning and twisting, <laughs> refusing, <laughs> refusing to pick Purdue in anything. Incomplete one at Crabtree on that quick slant. That third and seven. Harold in trouble suddenly. Not going away as Kendall came in and cleaned the Red Raider attack to get something going. The Texas defense has played much better in the second half. Snared out of the air. Snap right down. Texas A&M out of College Station, Texas. First down and 10. That screen pass to the wide receiver, and they bust it. Britain has a 100-yard night. Now they come in with Batch on the running play. He breaks a tackle by Robinson. Ball was spotted back, make it second and three. And Woods now will make it third. And they threw the last time here on third and short. This time they run Woods for the first down. There's that wide receiver screen again with Britain. 519 yards, 466, and now this game is senior year. First down and 15. Melton breaks free. Harrell fires a strike to the 15. On and away, away from the defender to give him a chance again to pick up with completion. Second and four, and here's Woods. They're going to run for the first and ten. Batch. They show blitz. High and incomplete. And goal, but it's back at the 25-yard line. Fires in zone. And this time... Second and goal. 
Harrell's going to get in zone. Incomplete. Fires. Almost intercepted with the ball. Nicole buries his head, and Graham Harrell will see what he can do. Snaps it off on first down, and that's the running back. Back from getting out of bounds to stop the clock. Final minute. There's that quick hitch over to the flanker for the first and ten. That's Lewis. Another first and ten. Stop it. Harold. And that's a first. Another big play. Can't take a sack. Deflected, intercepted. Texas. No, they rule it down. Incomplete. I thought for sure that he had deflected it to Gideon. There's eight ticks of the clock left. And Texas Tech needs to get organized here because the play clock has already started. The ball's up in the air. The true freshman, Blake Gideon, Brent comes underneath it. That's oh, a drill that you it. work on all the time. It goes right oh. through his arm. I, I saw it at his yeah. legs, and I thought he'd had it. Still one timeout left here for Texas Tech. Eight seconds. Second down now. Deep strike. Got the big man. Country pulls free. And touchdown. Red Raiders with a second to go. This is 28 yards. The fans have stormed the field. They're going to have to clear the field here. They're going to have to clear the field. They've got to get everybody off, and they're going to penalize Texas Tech. Talk about chaos. Goal posts are down on one side of the field. Yeah, the first thing they've got to do is review Crabtree on that far sideline. Well, Brett, when you have the best receiver in college football going up against an inexperienced corner, you just throw it up and allow him to adjust and make the play and the strength of his hands to get around Curtis Brown and into the end zone. He did not step out of bounds. And Harold just put this up, relying on the best receiver in college football to make a play, and the strength of his hands. Big-time players make big plays in big games, and that's what Michael Crabtree just did. After further review, the ruling on the field is confirmed. It's a touchdown. And they're going to storm the field again.